Did you know that indoor cats tend to enjoy a higher life expectancy than their outdoor counterparts? Keeping your feline friend indoors not only protects them from various outdoor hazards, but also opens up a world of opportunities to enhance their well-being. In this video, we'll explore the keys to making your indoor cat not just content, but delightfully happy. From understanding their unique needs to creating an enriching environment, let's unlock the secrets to ensuring your indoor cat lives a long, healthy, and joyful life. 1. Provide them with a cat scratcher. Cats use different ways to show that an area is theirs, like scratching and leaving scent marks. Scratching is important for a cat's happiness and health. It helps them mark their space and keeps their nails strong. To prevent them from scratching your furniture, give them cat scratchers. Most cats like to scratch on things they can dig into, like sisal, rope, carpet, or cardboard. Remember your cat's scratching style when choosing a scratcher. Some like vertical surfaces, while others prefer horizontal ones. Make sure the scratcher is stable and doesn't wobble when the cat uses it. 2. Use a catnip. Catnip is a plant in the mint family, known as Nepeta cataria. It holds a natural oil called nepetalactone, which does something special to cats. When cats breathe it in, their smelling system sees it as a natural cat pheromone. If cats rub on or chew catnip, they get a gentle, short-lived, natural high that's safe and enjoyable for them. Not all cats care about catnip, and it doesn't work on kittens under six months old. But if your cat likes it, it can be a tool to keep them happy indoors. Catnip is sold dried for sachets or special cat toys, and as a spray to mist toys or cat beds. You can also grow catnip plants in pots by a sunny window for your kitty. Remember, everything should be in moderation. 3. Give them toys to play with. Indoor cats might struggle to stay active, unlike outdoor cats who have plenty of chances to exercise. One of the best ways to get your cat moving is by playing together. Encourage her to jump, pounce, and race around the house, turning your lazy indoor cat into a little athlete. Simple toys often work the best. Cats enjoy chasing after catnip toys, ribbons, or bits of fabric, and feathers on wands or short poles. Don't forget about everyday items in your home that can be toys. Many cats love exploring paper bags, boxes, and baskets. Sometimes, they find their own fun with things like plastic milk jug rings, crumpled paper, or an old sock, even if you bought them a fancy toy. The trick is to mix things up. Swap toys in and out of your cat's play collection, and try hiding toys around the house for your cat to discover over time. 4. Provide vertical space. Many cats, being prey animals, feel secure and happy when they have high up places to explore and observe from. Since cats can be both prey and predators, it's crucial for owners to create safe and comfortable spots for them. This means having elevated perches and hiding spots, which can be achieved with cat trees, perches and shelves. You'll find various cat houses or condos that offer a secure hangout for your feline friend. An ideal setup lets the cat move around rooms while staying elevated from the floor. This feature is especially important when there are other animals or kids in the home, allowing cats to keep a distance if they want to. For older or arthritic cats, it's good to provide furniture options that make it easier for them to climb or step gradually, rather than dealing with completely vertical setups. 5. Provide bird watching stations. The reason domesticated cats catch many birds and small mammals is that these creatures are the natural prey of their ancestor, a small wildcat species known as the wildcat, found in parts of Africa, Asia, and Europe. Even well-fed pet cats still have the wildcat's natural interest in small animals. You can satisfy this interest by creating a bird-watching spot indoors. Simply set up a cat window perch and place a bird feeder or bath right outside the window. Your pet cat can enjoy hours of watching and the wildlife stays safe. A bonus is that placing feeders and baths near windows helps prevent bird collisions with windows, reducing another significant cause of bird deaths. 6. Let them climb. Wild cats are natural climbers. They go up trees to chase prey and seek high spots when scared. Your pet cat still has those climbing instincts. Cat trees are a reliable way to let your cat satisfy its urge to climb, and they come in various shapes and sizes to match your space and decor. If you enjoy DIY projects, you can even build your own. 
Take it up a notch by adding cat shelves throughout your home, making use of vertical space for your feline friends. It could be as simple as a few floating shelves on the wall or more complex catwalks wrapping around entire rooms. Either way, cat shelves give your kitty the chance to go up high and explore places only cats can reach. 7. A positive litter box experience. Ensuring your cat has only positive litter box experiences is crucial to prevent unwanted behaviors like urinating outside of the box. There are four key factors to consider when setting up a litter box. Hygiene, litter box type and size, litter substrate type, and litter box location and number. Maintaining cleanliness is vital because cats are exceptionally clean creatures. In the wild, cats pick new clean spots to urinate. For them to use the same spot each time, we need to keep it clean. Scoop the litter box at least once a day and clean it with mild dish soap once a week. The type of litter box and substrate depends on your cat's preferences. Options include covered or uncovered, large or small, automatic slash self-cleaning or traditional. There are also various litter types like clumping and non-clumping clay, pine pellets, paper, and natural litters such as corn, wheat, and grass seed. You might need to try different boxes and litters to find what works best for your cat. Make sure the litter box is spacious enough for your cat to stand and turn around comfortably. Place it in a quiet area, away from anything that could startle the cat or make them feel unsafe and ensure easy access. The general rule is to have one litter box per cat plus one extra. Eight, make meals more entertaining. In the wild, cats spend a significant amount of time stalking and chasing their prey. To prevent your cat from becoming easily bored, especially if they don't have to work for their meal, consider dividing their food into three or four servings. This approach helps make their meals more akin to their natural environment. To make your cat's mealtime more entertaining, try using food puzzle toys. These toys require your cat to use their brain to access the food. You can find these toys at a pet supply store, or you can create your own by cutting holes in a plastic bottle and placing your cat's food or treats inside, providing a mental challenge during mealtimes. Another engaging option is hiding your cat's food around the house. This mimics a hunting scenario, encouraging your cat to search for their meal. To keep things interesting, vary the hiding places at each mealtime. This not only adds an element of excitement, but also taps into your cat's natural instincts. Nine, go for a walk. Believe it or not, it is possible to train your cat to walk on a leash, and it's one of the most responsible ways to let your cat outside. While it's easiest to start training when your cat is a kitten, even older cats can learn. Begin by getting your cat accustomed to wearing a harness for short periods indoors. Then, progress to attaching the leash and rewarding your cat with treats when it walks with you. Never pull on the leash. Once your cat is comfortable with the harness and leash indoors, gradually introduce it to the outside environment. Start with short trips and slowly increase the length of walks as your cat becomes more at ease. If it proves to be too challenging, consider seeking help from a professional animal trainer. Remember, the idea of walking dogs on leashes once seemed unusual, but now it's the norm. We can do the same with cats. 10. Spay and neuter. Make sure to spay or neuter your pet cats. When cats aren't fixed, their hormones might make them want to escape to find a mate. When you spay or neuter them, you remove this extra stress from your pet. It also helps keep them from being too interested in going outside and prevents them from adding to the number of unwanted cats. While these things will make your indoor cat happy, there are things that we unknowingly do that break our cat's trust in us. To avoid doing this, be sure to know these things by checking out this next video right here.